Hi, this is Divya from Cisco Tab. This video describes the steps to configure the passive ID using Agent Health Provider to obtain the user and IP mapping for authenticated users by Active Directory. The process is similar across all ICE versions provided that the ICE version and the Active Directory version are compatible. In this video, I'm using ICE version 3.3 and Windows Active Directory version 2022. ICE version 3.3 supports Windows Active Directory from version 2.0.1.2 to 2.0.2.5. First, let's go over the prerequisites required for the passive ID configuration using Agent as provider. Configure reverse lookup for the relevant DNS servers from the server side. Ensure Microsoft.NET framework is updated from the machine designated for the agents to a minimum of version 4.0. Create an AD join point and add, add at least one domain controller in ICE. When configuring the agent provider to monitor domain controllers for user identities, the agent must be installed on either a member server or on a domain controller. Finally, the ICE server must be able to reach the domain controller over ADAJ agent TCP9095. This process describes how to manually install and configure the agent to monitor a domain controller. Let me walk you through the process live for a better understanding. Log into ICE and navigate to Administration, Deployment. Ensure to have the Passive Identity Service enabled. Go to Work Center, Passive ID. Providers, Active Directory, confirm that the Active Directory join point is operational. Click on the agent on the left side pane. Click Download Agent to download the pick agent dash installer.zip file for manual installation. To configure the agent that you have already installed on the host machine, select Register Existing Agent. Complete all mandatory fields to configure the agent correctly and then save it. Enter the name of the agent, followed by host FQDN of the domain controller where the agent is installed. Provide the username and password for DC, which stands for domain controller. Select the protocol as MSRPC and then save it. Choose Providers, Active Directory. To view all the currently configured join points, click the link for the join point from which you would like to en enable the agent you created. Choose the Passive ID tab to configure the domain controller that you added as a part of the prerequisites. Click on Add DC. Select the domain controller that you would like to monitor with the agent you created and click OK. Click Edit. From the protocol drop down list, select agent which is the agent you created from the drop down list. Enter the username and password. To connect to the agent, then click on Save. To verify the status, click on the overview at the top. Select Dashboard from the left side pane. Ensure that the provider status displays a green status. Thanks for watching.